Welcome to State House Rock. I'm Kim Robinson, Executive Director. The House this week approved a Senate bill that will drastically change the way workers' compensation works in Illinois. Senate Bill 1596 will expose employers to civil action with unlimited awards and punitive damages for currently barred claims. Employers may also be liable for claims that have already been closed if Senate Bill 1596 is signed by the governor. The bill was opposed by a coalition of more than two dozen business organizations. It now awaits Governor Pritzker's approval. Another bill, House Bill 3418, is an effort to restore language that was once included in the Job Killing Structural Work Act, also known as the Scaffold Act. That law was repealed in the mid-90s in an effort to create a more favorable business environment in Illinois. Now trial lawyers, who would be the big winners under House Bill 3418, are hoping to reinstate it. The bill would make the person, firm, corporation, owner, contractor, or subcontractor in charge of a project responsible for the safety of all project workers, regardless of fault. We have opposed. We are also tracking a large number of procurement bills that have been introduced this year. They cover a wide range of topics, including energy performance contracting, design build, ethics and procurement, MBFB requirements, and other proposals. The Senate's deadline for passing bills out of its committees is Friday, March 22nd. The House's deadline is Friday, March 29th. At that point, we will know much more about which bills are likely to advance. Word also came this week that the governor's office began meeting with legislators to discuss legalization of recreational marijuana. Talks about a potential capital bill are also expected to get underway in the coming days. That's it for this week. Thanks for watching Statehouse Rock.